Hey everyone, it's Catherine here, and this weekend, uh, amongst the other things that we did, we drove up to Daytona Beach to take a look at the new Bucky's that was built there. Uh, a few months ago, maybe even last year, our favorite travel vlogger, Traveling Robert, he introduced us to Bucky's through one of his videos, and we're like, oh, if we ever get to Texas, we definitely have to go. Come to find out they were building a couple in Florida. So as soon as the Daytona Beach one was open, we knew we had to go and check it out. And we finally got there this weekend. And let me tell you, it was absolutely crazy. So this video is going to be a bit of an introduction. Um, I have everything labeled. I'm not going to stop and talk about individual things as they come up on the screen. Uh, just so that I can give kind of our experience about it, but then you can also really see for yourself what it looks like inside. So the experience walking in was absolutely overwhelming. There had to have been a thousand people at least, if not 2,000 people in this grocery store. I mean, oops, grocery store. That's what it felt like. It was, a, it was a gas station. I mean, this is crazy. The amount of logo merchandise they had was insane. Whatever you want. If you wanted a magnet, if you wanted a dog bandana, if you wanted pajamas, heck, if you wanted a bathing suit, you could get it with the Bucky's logo on it. And Brian and I ended up each getting a t-shirt, he also got a hat, and we got a magnet for our fridge because we collect magnets. They also had a very large home section. Think of kind of like um, Cracker Barrel, the restaurant, where you have kind of the country type, but they also had a lot of beachy stuff as well at this one. So that was really nice. Now, We've heard about how great these restrooms are. It's kind of like a joke, I guess, with Bucky's about holding it until you get to Bucky's or whatever. And let me tell you, these restrooms were absolutely massive. They were kind of similar to truck stops where they were individual stalls with doors, um, but the size of them was just huge. So very private, very comfortable, big thumbs up. The Texas Roadhouse, sorry, Texas Roadhouse, Texas Roundup section was one that we definitely knew we wanted to try the food. So we ended up getting the beaver chips, which were just fresh potato chips, the brisket sandwich, and the club melt. And let me tell you, for six bucks, those sandwiches were definitely worth it. However, we way preferred the club melt, believe it or not, to the brisket. It was really good. I think it might have been on like a sweet Hawaiian roll, but we definitely recommend that. Um, the icy in the soda station was crazy. Brian got this one. It was a pure cane sugar, uh, blue cream soda, something like that. That was really good. The only thing I wish is they had a lot of really unique flavors. They didn't have any of them in diet. And I just wish at least one of their unique flavors was in diet. And so because of that, I didn't, I didn't get anything. But what we did get was coffee. They had a huge uh, flavor syrup selection. They also had the uh, Godiva chocolate syrup as well that you can put in your coffee so that was really impressive plus all of the you know different types of um of uh like creamers and everything like that now the, i call it the pantry area i really don't know what else to call it but they had a huge selection of items they had a huge wall first of all with beer wine sodas all of that but then they had like bagged jerky, bagged trail mix. They had all these spices, seasonings, barbecue rubs. It was really crazy. We got the uh, raspberry yogurt pretzels because those looked really good. We haven't tried it yet. We also got a bag of the garlic jerky and haven't tried that yet either. The bakery section was also really amazing. Um, the pastries were huge and the prices were very, very reasonable for those. And then, of course, the jerky section. I've never seen jerky that looked quite like that before. It was really amazing looking. And the last place that we explored when we were there was there was a kiosk, kind of like a Wawa where you can order food. So we went ahead and we just kind of went through all the menu items so that you could see those as well. Overall, within about an hour drive, I would highly suggest it if you're in the area, we'll go out of the way for it. It was a really, really, really cool experience and definitely something to take a look at. 